Hallelujah. Good morning and welcome once again to another reading of Rhapsody of Realities. Today is December the 27th and our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome, would like to share a message entitled, No Force Can Prevail Against You. Hallelujah. Our opening verse is from the book of John chapter 6 verse 16 and I read, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Hallelujah. Did you know that the statement in our opening verse is a divine decree? You are kept from perishing for believing in Jesus Christ. That means nothing and no one can harm you. Jesus said in the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 19, Behold, I give unto you power to thread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. He also said in Mark chapter 16 verse 18 that if you drink any deadly thing, it will not hurt you. This is your heritage in Christ. Psalms chapter 91 verses 5 to 7 says, Thou shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy sight, and ten thousand on thy right side, but it shall not come near thee. Hallelujah. Notice the latter part. It says the evil, the pestilence, and the terror that destroy others won't come near you. Why? Because you're in Christ. Christ is a place and therein you are shielded from the destructions, calamities and degradations of this present world. Hallelujah. It further reminds of the word of the prophet Isaiah in Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. The reason the weapons cannot prosper is that you have eternal life. The indestructible, incorruptible and impregnable life of God. Remember what we read in our opening verse, Whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. It is a life of absolute mastery and dominion, a life of glory, victory, success and excellence. Because of this life in you, no evil force can prevail against you. You are more than a conqueror. Glory to his name forever. Now my brothers and sisters, wherever you are, kindly raise your hand and take this prayer right after me. Thank you. Father, for your glorious life in me, I live triumphantly today, far above Satan and the negative systems of this world. Thank you for appointing me to live a life of glory, victory, success and excellence. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Now, my brothers and sisters, I do recommend that you take time to study and meditate on these following scriptures in order for you to understand today's message even better. From the book of 1 John chapter 4, verse 4 and the book of Romans chapter 8, verses 35 to 39. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you again tomorrow. God bless you. received salvation if you've never received Christ into your heart if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about this is your moment say these words say oh Lord God I believe in Jesus Christ 
the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised Him from the dead and He's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in Him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. Rhapsody of realities Giving you life a meaning Every day my life made perfect with Rhapsody.